Cut. All right, so I'm back with Miguel and Carla. Miguel and Carla, how have you guys been? I mean, we've been we've been good and bad, but just a little bit bad. Sometimes we have like pretty rough days where we're like we're we're like chilling out here. My lady, she's like. I want some cereal and I'm like, I'm like, all right, then I'll get you some cereal, but it takes us a good minute to get some, like, some cereal and some milk. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, I mean, we, 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 we do, we do all right, you know, not, not like a regular family where we're like, we have a house and everything and, you know, and we have AC, but we, we've been all right. I mean, we're still alive, I guess. <laughs> when I pulled up earlier, I seen you guys cleaning up this area right here. Why were you guys doing that? Um, because I, I. I'm out here and I mean, I don't have a job, but I, I do like working for mine. I don't like being out here and like just asking for money. Um, I open the door for people too. Um, I clean windows sometimes. I clean the front parking lots um, for like a few dollars, you know, and I don't even ask for much. I only ask for like a few dollars. Um, that way me and my lady could have to eat and you know, for, for whatever she needs and for whatever I need. And yeah, that, that's, that's, that's good. Man. That, that's good, bro. Props to you for cleaning up and and actually hustling for your money. Yeah. Um, did you guys get recognized by anybody from the last interview? There was actually like three or four people that came up to us. They were like, "Hey, aren't you guys that couple that came out on on YouTube or no on Instagram? We seen you on Instagram. Yeah, you guys, you guys are YouTube famous. All like, what? Did they offer any sort of help, any donations, anything like that? There was one one actually one or two people that actually did offer offer a donation they were like here you go they gave us like ten five ten dollars yeah yeah so. were you offered a job recently you told me um i was offered a job yeah i was supposed to go at six in the morning and the guy had told me i'm gonna be here from six in the morning to six thirty um to six thirty in the morning and i was like all right cool hell yeah i'll be right here I, I, I'm gonna be here, like I'm that I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna be here, and he was like, oh, "Okay, I'm gonna be right here too, all right." Next thing you know, I show up. It was like six, six ten, six fifteen, um, and and me and my lady, we waited out, we waited outside on Circle K um, for like an hour or so. Yeah, like like an hour. It was like about an hour, probably a little bit less, like fifty minutes, probably. Yeah. Um, but the whole time that we were out there, we, like he didn't show up at all. Like he didn't, like we didn't, we didn't see him out there or nothing, like. And we were, so we're confused. Never rolled up. No, we didn't. Damn. Um, did you guys get to see your interview on the internet? Did you guys get to read the comments? Uh, I think I think my lady got to see it. She read a few comments. Um, I I I thought some of the comments were pretty fucked up. That how like the comments that my lady told me. I was like I was like what for real? Like, I don't know. I'm a straight dude. You know. I mean, I like I like keeping it straight. I like keeping it 100. Yeah. Some people told us. Oh, and then some people told us some of the comments too that they thought that people were thinking that she was under 18 yeah. and I don't know what else. Uh, uh, uh. Carla, just for the record, how old are you? 18. And what's your birthday? Uh, October 2nd, 2003. 2003? And why are people saying that you're under 18 and this and that? Because I'm like young. Do you, do you actually know these people or they're just out there just commenting that craziness? You don't know them, right? So yeah, guys, if, um, just because she looks younger, that doesn't mean that she's under 18, guys. Like, come on, you, we gotta be realistic. Anyways, um, so you're out here hustling, bro? You're, yeah. you're trying to get a job? What kind of job are you trying to get? I'm trying to get a job that, I mean, I, I was gonna say a job that me and my lady could ha handle, and I was gonna say also that, well, where, what type of job can a man handle? handle that a woman could also have too but i mean there's women out there that work out hardcore you know that are in weight training so you never know there might be a a woman out there that a, a couple out there that has a woman stronger than a man so i can't say that either you know so well, you want a job where both you and your lady could work at the same time yeah yeah because we're out on the streets and i don't want to go to work and then leave her out here for like for eight twelve hours straight and you never know there's a whole bunch of like 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 weird, weirdo, weirdo yeah. There's a whole yeah. bunch of weirdos out here, and I don't want to leave her out here alone. You know, you, yeah. Um, I noticed that there was a lot of negative comments as well, and they were saying that you treat her bad and this and that. Um, Carlita, how how does he treat you? Mm, he treats me nice. 
No, he helps me most of the time. That's good, yeah. man. He, he, does, he does most of the things, you know? He makes the money and... He makes the money out here? Yeah. So That's good, good man. Um, did you guys have any of your family members reach out to you guys? Um... Actually, I had a, a step cousin. A step cousin, you're like, hey, I seen you on YouTube, dude. You're, yeah, you're YouTube famous. All like, I was like, for real? He's like, yeah, you came, uh, you came out on on YouTube with your lady or your fiance. I was like, yeah. Um, and then he threw me like eight dollars. He threw me eight dollars. He's like, go get yourself something to drink, fool. Don't spend it on drugs. Just get yourself <laughs> something to drink. Did all he right, right. offer you to uh, give you like a room or anything like that? Did anybody come out here and offer you any kind of housing? Mm, no, no housing though. Not no Are housing. Are you guys looking into a program right now? Um, actually, someone someone mentioned Cass, and yeah. I was thinking about it because that one's co-ed. I mean, we're not gonna be in the same rooms, but um, when we want, when we wake up, if we want, we could we could go out and we could be in the campus, me and my lady together. I mean, I mean that's that's great. That's what I, that's exactly what I've been looking for. Somewhere where me and my lady could spend the whole day together. You know, like like just me and her. But at the same time, I'm kind of scared too, you know, because they're, they, we are going to go into a, a, a facility or a, a, a campus where, sorry, babe, a campus where there's going to be girls that are drug addicts, you know, and only God knows what, what, what type of stuff that be, that be going on in there, you know, like. Well, then there too, you have to go through a detox program as well. Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys ready to commit to that? I mean, I, I'm, I'm be honest. I don't really look forward to like detoxing because I, I I don't know I've 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 been in I've been in a in a rehab and the last time I was at a rehab like like they forced me to pray like I was like what the hell like you guys you, you guys can't force me to pray like like if I could I if I want to pray I could pray if I don't want to pray you guys can't force me to pray what rehab was that was that like um what is that mm. there's there's a lot of them that go through churches um, yeah was it like a victory outreach kind of program? It was from from jail, from jail. Like like they'll let you out early. They'll let you out early if you're if you're in jail. You sign up for this one um for this one rehab and and they'll let you out early if you if you complete. I mean if you go if you sign up for the for the rehab, they'll let you out like a month up to three months early. What was the parts that you didn't like about the rehab, and what was the parts that you liked about it? The parts that I like about the rehab is that like the, the people that were in there, a lot of them were unfriendly, they were getting off drugs, so they were really grouchy. Um, the part where they made me pray, and also the part where we can't go out for a whole month unless, no, we can't go out for, the, for a whole month, no word, not, not to look for a job, not to go visit your family, like you can't go out at all from that, from that, like, like, what is it called like that that little campus like you yeah. can't go out at all and i'm like what the heck like what do you, what do you guys mean we can't go out yeah that's the way it was what's the good about it the good thing about it is that they had like a lot of activities they had like they even had barbecues on the weekends on the weekends um there was even a, a, a one one weekend they they had a girls a girls um camp the girls campus and the men's campus get together we made a like a big barbecue it was almost like a party they said no beer or nothing, you know, like, but it was almost like a party and there was girls, loud music, um, games, um, family got to go, come over and all that. But other than that, like, it was, it was just like another regular day that, but it, like kind of party-ish, like, yeah. All right, well, hey man, thank you guys for this update. I really do appreciate it. Yeah. Are you guys okay with me using this on my YouTube channel? I mean, yeah, that, that'll be great as long as you're not using it for nothing legal, <laughs> nothing, yeah. nothing bad. Yeah. And as long as me and my lady, we look good and beautiful. <laughs> All right. Um, just in case some of my subscribers want to reach out to you yeah, and they have donations or any sort of help that they want to extend to you, do you have any email or anywhere where they can contact you? Um, actually, I don't. I don't. Um, but... Uh, if anything, I'll get I'll get your info for like what the YouTube channel or what the YouTube, the name of the YouTube um um video is gonna be, and I'll just I'll comment it or I'll send it to you through like a message or something. Cause I should be getting a phone here soon, 
I mean, I'm, I'm, I've been working pretty hard and I really love my lady a lot. That's why I've been working a lot. But you know, you could go to any of those free phone places and they'll give you an Obama phone, bro. Yeah, that too, that too, yeah. yeah. Are you on access or anything like that? I actually got my, your lady? I actually got food stamps and right now that you reminded me, there's a lady right here on the side of the food city. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get my, my information for the food stamps, how they have me down and I'm gonna get, actually get a phone right now in like about two, three hours. I forgot about that. Yeah, bro, you could do that. All this stuff, like, there's a lot of free programs out here. You need to take advantage of them. Yeah. But, um, yeah, bro, just make an email and I'll keep in contact with you and I'll put it in the description box. Cool. All it's right, amazing. man, thank you for the update. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Does your girl have anything she wants to add? You wanna say video? anything, babe? No. Nothing? Mm. No, hi. Well, okay, um, hi to Carlos' family. I don't know you guys yet, uh, but I mean, I'm trying hard out here. I'm gonna get us out of this, I, well, out of here. I mean, I, like, what she told me is that her mom, she got deported and all this stuff. So, I mean, I've been out here and I told her that I was gonna help her out. So, I ended up out here again, too. I, I had her living with me and my mom, but um, I accidentally fell asleep outside in the, at the parking lot of her apartment and they kicked us out. So, that's why we're out here again. Um, but I apologize for this for how we look right now, but I'm actually a very great guy um, Soon I should be working again and your daughter she's gonna be looking more beautiful than ever um, I, I got her. Um, I love you family my family. I love you guys and uh, Much love to Carla's family, too All right, Miguel. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you guys